What's interesting about uh, today's video environment is that consumers are more increasingly expecting to get the content they want whenever they want it, wherever they want it, on whatever device. So it's the expectation now, whereas maybe a year ago or even, you know, even six months ago, that was sort of, wow, that's amazing. I can get this video on my phone. Today, it's the expectation that you're going to be able to see your video wherever you want it. And what's interesting is the media consumption patterns that we see are really tied to that. So during commute times, you see uh, users uh, using their mobile phones. During the middle of the day, you see them using their laptops at work. During the end of the day, you actually see a spike in usage amongst tablets, and you see uh, connected television devices being used. So across the board, um, it's what, what's, what's, what is very clear is that consumers are definitely taking in more video, and they're taking it in across a whole range of devices. Companies can take advantage of the multi-screen environment, number one, by being aware that, you know, 23% of media consumed today in a mo is consumed on a mobile device. So 23% of the time spent consuming media is on a mobile device, just to repeat that. Um, what's interesting about that is only about a 1% of advertising spending is on mobile. So first and foremost, I think there's a, an awareness that needs to happen about how consumers are consuming video in particular and consuming media. Um, and then secondly, sort of how do you tell your story in a way that is compatible with the way users consume media on their phones. So think about the use cases for and, and sort of situations that you find yourself when you're consuming media. It may be you're commuting. It may be that you're waiting in line. It could be the generally shorter type uh, consumption patterns. And so therefore, as, as advertisers and marketers, we have to be smart about the experience, number one, but number two, about how do we suck that user in with the most compelling message available in that kind of environment. So the other thing that's interesting is how users are consuming video online is changing a little bit as well. And even against connected television, we're seeing much more sort of two screen watching of television. Uh, certainly during fantasy football, we see spikes in tablet usage. We see spikes in tablet usage uh, during main, major events like the NC2A tournament and the Oscars. Uh, so sort of this concept of social and video being used together is I think another be big thing that's sort of developing over time. And then I think on the main screen, sort of the, the, the most popular sort of online video screen would be um, sort of what's happening on the web. And on the web today, it's all about interactivity. Um, interactivity and dynamic messaging to the audience that matters to you. So, for example, it's about letting users drive deeper into your ad message by creating more interactive types of video advertising. And there's a whole host of new formats and different partners who do this. And the second is sending really valuable messages into that audience um, using dynamic capabilities. So if you wanted to reach one audience, say, in Portland, Oregon, with a message, you could. And you can today, that's very, very possible in the video environment. If I'm putting myself in the shoes of a media buyer, what I would say is, um, number one, be aware of who your audience is and be aware of who your clients uh, uh, want to reach. That's, that's, that's the top, sort of top thing. Second thing is, what are, is the goal of the campaign? What are you trying, what, what metrics are you trying to move? Because in today's media buying environment, literally, you can shape the performance of your campaign while it's running. We get real-time feedback and are able to buy media in very, very focused ways against very focused audiences that are going to drive the performance and KPIs that you're looking for. So whether that's some sort of cognitive metric around brand awareness or purchase intent, or whether that's um, a much more engagement metric such as, you know, time spent with the ad or completes or clicks or something like that, you can actually drive that today very, very easily in media buying. Uh, work with a partner who has scale. Uh, and certainly at Brightroll, that's something that we pride ourselves on is transparency, number one, scale, number two, um, we, we're, you know, 100 million uniques per month. So definitely work with a partner who can deliver the scale to you in a cost-effective manner.